In today's video, we're gonna mount this TV to the wall using Amazon's best-selling TV wall mount that works with 32-inch to 55-inch TVs. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett where I help tech work for you. And today we're going to be looking at the ML531BE wall mount for your TV. Now today we're gonna to be using a Samsung 46 inch TV and we'll be mounting it on the wall. When mounting a TV, I recommend to have the TV mounted right at eye level. Now here, this is about sitting exactly where I need it to be. I do think I need to go up a couple inches, but we're gonna remove it, make sure we get rid of this stand, and then we'll have to take off the stand for the TV and get it set up and I'll show you how this mount works and see if it's something that you would be interested in. So here we have the articulating wall mount by Video Secure has enhanced viewing angles, full motion mount, and easy installation. On the back, it shows our quick instructions. We're gonna first locate the stud, mark the holes, we're gonna mount the wall plate, we're gonna attach the TV plate, then we're gonna hang the TV, and then we're gonna position it properly. So going in here, you do have a few different set of instructions. One is for a wood installation and concrete installation. And then here you have the wall mount and it does come with a 10 foot HDMI cable, which is pretty awesome to have. Then you also have some other brackets that you'll need depending on the TV that you have. Before you begin, there are a few tools that you will need. You need a stud finder, a pencil, an electric drill, a drill bit or mason drill bit, depending on if you're doing wood or concrete, a ratchet, measuring tape, Phillips screwdriver, and a level. Now one of the main reasons that I'm doing this today is so that we can get rid of this ancient stand that we have for the TV. The first thing that we will need to do is find the stud in the wall that we are using. Here I have a stud finder that shows me about the middle portion of the stud and then I'm going to do a simple mark. Then I'm going to find the center of where my TV needs to be. So here I'm going to mark this at 42 inches and I'm gonna do this close to where the stud actually is. And then I'm just gonna do another uh, finder down here on the bottom to see the exact point of the stud so that I can make a straight up and down line that is vertical. And then I'm going to draw a line here to uh, show exactly where I need to mount this onto the wall. So then I'm gonna do a quick test here, see if I need to adjust the lines and to make sure this will line up exactly where I want the center of my TV to be. So here I am going to mark them up so I can place my pilot holes. When you are making your marks, be as accurate as possible. It does come with that little level that you can use to make that line as vertical as possible. Now here I am going to drill the pilot hole. So it does ask you to drill with a five by 32 inch bit, and then you're gonna drill two and a quarter inch into the wall. So I measured that out, made sure it was correct. First, I'm actually gonna drill these little holes, and then I'm gonna go back and fully drill all the way in. And again, make sure that these are lined up as best as possible, but the mount, when you fully put it on, will allow you to adjust it easily. Now that I've drilled those quick pilot holes, I'm gonna go through and drill the two and a quarter inch holes. In the packaging, you do have the different bolts and items that you need labeled, which is really handy to have. And then don't make the mistake like I am making here. Do not use a drill bit to screw these in. It will strip them out. You need to get a socket wrench to be able to do that. Now, when I went to find a socket wrench, I couldn't find one. So I did have to improvise a little bit and I found this little tool that aligned correctly and I was able to put the lag bolts all the way in. So definitely make sure if you don't have a socket wrench, you may want to borrow one, but that would make this process so much easier. I had to fiddle with this for a while, but it did the job and I finally got them all in. I did add all of the bolts in and then I tightened the top all the way down. Be sure to not over tighten them. And then once the top was all the way in, I went down to the bottom and that is where you can align it and make sure that it is perfectly level so that the TV has the best chance of being level. So you're gonna do this in a couple of places so that will give the best viewing experience, but it was pretty easy to match it up and then tighten the bottom to keep it as level as possible. Once we have the wall bracket in place, we will then need to separate the TV plate from the bracket. Here it just has two screws that you'll need to unscrew with your Phillips screwdriver. Here you will insert the two plastic covers on the top of the bottom of the bracket, 
as to protect and make it look a little bit better. Next, I'm going to remove the old mount from my TV. Here on the back of the Samsung TV, I just had four different screws that I needed to remove. Make sure you store the mount with the screws somewhere. You may never know when you need it again. Once we have the TV mount removed, we'll move to the second part of the instructions that talks about how to install the bracket so that it will fit your TV. Now I did need to look up the manual of the TV so that I could find out the different bracket style that I needed. Here I needed a 400 millimeter bracket and then on the instructions it shows me how to do that. Now I'm going to install the four different wings, tighten them up as per the screws that are available and then we'll be able to put it on the back of the TV. Now that they are all on, I'm gonna go through one more time and tighten them all up. Next, we're going to align it so it fits on the back of the TV. Now, there are different screws available depending on the TV that you have, so you'll need to just do some testing of which screw fits best. And then here, I'm going to place the plastic cap over the screw and then screw it into the back of the TV. And I'm just gonna do the same thing, go through and screw in all four of these. And if it doesn't line up, you'll need to loosen the brackets that we already placed in, and then you can get it to perfectly line up and place all four screws in and tighten them up. Once you have the TV plate installed, we're ready to mount it on the wall. So here we're gonna pick up the TV. You may need two people to do this depending on the size of the TV. Here you're gonna put the lip on first and then it will hang. And then you'll need to put back in the two TV screws that you previously removed from the TV plate to take it off the bracket. Once you have the TV screws on, it is now mounted, but you need to align the back of the TV. So here, this is how you can tilt the TV up or down. And then you wanna push this all the way up, depending on what tilt you want your TV to have. And these little dollies here will allow you to tighten it up all the way. Now you can adjust the alignment of your TV. So here it will move back and forth, but if we tighten these bolts right here, that will allow the TV to be straight. So once you have the TV in the right position, make sure you use the level on top and then tighten the bolts on the back so the TV stays firm where you want it to be. Next, position the TV and then plug in the different power cable and everything that you need to get it set up. Here we have the essentials, the power cable, and a Chromecast. Now let's check out how easy it is to move this TV. So it's pretty easy to tilt back and forth. On the back, there is a part that you can adjust with an Allen wrench that will allow you to easily tilt it one way or the other. Now the back of the mount does kind of flip back and forth. So depending on where you want the TV, you may need to adjust that. And here we're gonna leave it in this position. That's where we want it. But if we wanted to move it back flush against the wall, we would have to reposition the back of the TV. So here you can see it is a little bit difficult if I want to reposition. It just takes a little bit of time, but not too much work. The mount itself is pretty sturdy. Uh, we don't expect to be moving it too much, but where it sits, it looks great. So here you can see the back. That is where you will put in the Allen wrench. And then here is how you can easily adjust it. And depending on how loose or tight you do, that is how easy it will be to move. So there I'm gonna loosen it up. So it's a little bit easier to maneuver. If you're doing this often, you may want to do that. And there we can put it flush up against the wall. Now it did rock a little bit here and there, but really it wasn't an issue as we won't be touching the TV very often. For $25, definitely I think this is a mount worth checking out. When you are finished, make sure you clean up the area so the wife is happy. All right, here we have it. Only a few hours later and I have it fully installed. I didn't have all the proper tools, so I had to go get them. I did have to improvise in some ways, but the biggest lessons I learned, make sure you read the instructions. It did go pretty well. One of my biggest concerns is that it wouldn't be level. And at the end there, I figured out how that you can level it. So I was really excited about that. And then if you wanna move it around, it's pretty easy to maneuver if you just loosen the back a little bit and then you can place it exactly where you want it to be. So for $25, uh, this number one bestseller in this category definitely is a winner. Uh, if you're looking for a TV mount, pick it up. My TV actually only weighs about 25 pounds. 
Um, I can't remember the exact weight limit, but make sure you check there uh, on the Amazon listing in the description below if you have any further questions. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.